Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us see how to express HCF of two numbers as linear combination of those two numbers. Now let's take a simple example to understand this. Let us say suppose we have two numbers 345 and another number is 999. Now we know how to find out the HCF of these two numbers by using Euclid's division algorithm. Now let us say suppose 989 into x plus 345 into y is equal to HCF of these two numbers. Now writing HCF as linear combination of two numbers means 989 the number into some value some integer plus 345 into y so we have to find out x and y values before that we should find out what is hcf of 345 and 989 now what is euclid's division algorithm euclid's division algorithm says that apply euclid's division lemma a equal to bq plus r once you did one step now change your b to a and r to b so that you will apply this loop till you get remainder equal to zero that is called as euclid's division algorithm let me repeat that apply euclid's division lemma which is a equal to bq plus r where r is between zero and b then change b to a and r to b write down again one more time go continue till you reach r equal to zero that is how we do euclid's division algorithm so let's do that and try to find out the hcf of these two numbers i will write down 989 is equal to 345 into something plus something so we know 345 ones are 345 345 into 2 i will check that's equal to 690 345 into 3 if i do that will be 1035 which is more so i'll write down 690 now subtract it you will get 299 now in the next step what i have to do this is in the form of a equal to b into q plus r now b should become a and r should become b that means 345 is equal to r 299 into some number plus some number now you know 299 will go only one times so left out is 46 so let's apply the lemma again next time again b will become a so 299 equal to r is b now that is 46 into some number plus some number you can check that this is 6 and this will be 23 now then we can go to the next step again one more time now b is 46 will become a and r is 23 two times it will go exactly you get your remainder equal to zero that means our hcf is equal to 23 now let us see how to express 23 here we will write down now let us see how to express 23 is equal to 989 into x plus 345 into y how to find out the values of x and y to do that what we will do i hope you are comfortable with finding out the hcf then let's move forward first what you have to do is start with that particular row where you have 23 as your remainder now we will start from there now how can i write 23 23 is equal to 299 minus 46 into 6 if this goes to that side so remember like 6 is a variable x now you are not going to multiply 46 into 6 and you will write down 
299 minus 276 that will defeat our purpose what we will do we will write it as 299 minus 46 into 6 like how you do algebra 3 into x 3x you can't do anything more similarly 46 into 6 for some time let us think like that okay so how 299 23 can be written 299 minus 46 into 6 so let me write down 23 equal to 299 minus 46 into 6 that step is done now let's move to the next step when you go to the next step what is that we see now in the remainder 46 that means how 46 can be written 46 can be written as 345 minus 299 into 1 so let us substitute that 345 minus 299 here so let's go to the next step in the next step we will write down 23 is equal to 299 minus in place of 46 I can write down 345 minus 299 345 minus 299 let us simplify this 23 is equal to 299 minus 345 into 6 plus 299 into 6 how we got this 299 minus 345 into 6 minus of minus is plus 299 into 6 so when you simplify this you will get I have 1 299 here 1 299 here and 6 299s here so you have to treat them like 6x plus x equal to 7x that will be 299 into 7 299 into 7 minus 345 into 6 now the problem is not at over because we have to express in terms of 345 and 989 that means next step I will go we are done with r equal to 23 r equal to 46 next we will go to r equal to 299 now how 299 can be expressed 299 equal to 989 minus 345 into 2 so I can write down wherever I see 299 in the last step I can write it as 989 minus 345 into 2 so let's go ahead and write down that that will be 23 equal to in place of 299 I have to write down 989 minus 345 into 2 that is our 299 now that I have to multiply with 7 then I have to do minus 345 into 6 now let's go ahead and simplify this so in the next step we will write down 23 equal to let's open the bracket here 989 into 7 minus 345 into 14 so let's write down that that will be 989 into 7 minus 345 into 14 minus 345 into 6 now which is equal to 989 into 7 minus we have like 14 X and 6 X we can add them it will become 345 into 20 so 23 equal to 989 into 7 minus 345 into 20 now compare that with what we want 989 into x minus 345 plus 345 into y compare them now you will get x equal to 7 and y equal to minus 20 so the values of x and y is 7 and minus 20 so we can write down 23 hcf of 345 and 989 as 989 into 7 minus 345 into 20 so let's have a recap of this what we will do to solve this problem when somebody gives us two numbers and asks us to express the hcf of as linear combination of those two numbers first we'll find out the hcf by using euclid's division algorithm then when we want to express hcf as linear combination of those two numbers we have to start from that particular row where we have remainder equal to hcf so express hcf as the remaining two number combination that is 299 minus 46 into 6 
Now once you do that, substitute and simplify them like treating them like algebra variables instead of multiplying them, simplifying them. Now next we will move from 46 to 299. So wherever 46 is there, we have written 345 minus 299. Next time, wherever 299 is there, we will write it as 989 minus 345 into 2. Now when you simplify them, treating them like algebraic variables, you will be getting 23 equal to 989 into x plus 345 into y or x equal to 7 and y equal to minus 20. So 23 is equal to 989 into 7 minus 345 into 20. Writing like this is called as expressing HCF as the linear combination of those two numbers.